Hello Earth citizens! In this video, I will show you a 10 minute routine to do for something called toe tapping. Toe tapping is an exercise that's unique to brain education and the biggest benefit to toe tapping is to quiet mental chatter. So if you're someone who's prone to thinking a lot and you're always in your head and you can't quiet your thoughts, in energy practice, we say that that's because all of your energy that should be in your core to ground you has floated up to your head and is causing a lot of activity up here. So people who have a lot of thoughts, they have trouble sleeping, they can have brain fog, they can have anxiety because too much activity in the head when it should be here in the core. So toe tapping exercise is to kind of balance that out. So if you're really head heavy, you activate your lower half of your body to balance the scale this way so that the amount of stimulation that is in your body is equal instead of like this. So I'll show you how to do toe tapping to bring the activity, bring overheated activity from your head down to your feet to balance the scale of energy distribution inside of your body. All right, so to do this exercise, you need a mat because we're going to be lying down. And also, you don't need this today, but when you practice this at home, make sure you have your phone so you can keep time because we're going to do repeated sets of one minute rest, one minute rest, 10 times. All right. OK, so lie down on the floor. Make sure you're lying down on carpet or a yoga mat. Please don't lie down on plain hard floor or tile because it's kind of cold and bad for your back. All right, so lie down with your palms facing up. Relax your legs and let's take a few breaths inside. Inhale in through your nose, all the way to your abdomen. Exhale out through your mouth. Two more times, breathe in. Exhale out. Ha. One more time, breathe in. Exhale out. Ha. Okay, now bring your legs together and the key to toe tapping, it's very simple. You just tap your big toes together but the important part is you move your entire leg. You see how all the way up to my hip joints, my leg is moving. So you're shaking from your hips down to your toes open. So please don't tap like this. You see how stiff my legs look? My hips are locked, my knees are locked, but my toes are tapping. This is not how you should do it. Like this, like that, yeah. And you might feel some pain when you do it, depending on how much blockage you have in your legs. But when you feel pain, don't stop, exhale out. We'll do repeated sets of one minute, 10 times. All right, so I'll count time on my phone. All you have to do is tap your toes together and feel your body. All right, this is set number one. Are you ready? Okay, start. Make sure you're moving all the way up to your hip joints. If you can, try to tap at the speed that I am. Not too fast, not too slow, but enough that you can feel your hip joints, thighs, knees, ankles, feet shaking open. As you tap, relax your entire body, breathe. Ha. If you have a lot of blockage in your hips, you will feel pain. Okay, stop. Feel your body. You will start to feel some tingling sensation, maybe at your toes, maybe at your thighs. Whatever it is that you feel, feel the energy flowing. Relax your body. Breathe in. Exhale. As you exhale, imagine you are putting down, releasing all heavy thoughts, heavy emotions, heavy energy. Two more times. Breathe in. Exhale. 
Last one, breathe in. And exhale. Okay, one minute again. Ready? Start. Make sure you are really tapping your toes together. How this works is you're causing stimulation at the bottom half of your body so that it balances all this activity that's going on in your head. So by tapping your toes together, you're bringing stimulation to your feet so that more energy will go there. Keep relaxing, keep breathing. You're doing great. Make sure you can feel all the way to your hip joints. That's very, very important. Okay, stop. Feel your body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. As you breathe out, release heaviness from your body. Again, breathe in. As you exhale, imagine you are pushing out heavy energy through your pores. Last one. Ha. Good job. Tapping again. One minute. As your legs start to open, you might feel moving your legs back and forth like this gets a little bit easier. Even though you feel pain, try to relax your legs as much as you can. feel the tingling sensation has become bigger and if you're very sensitive to energy you can feel the tingling sensation has become deeper breathe good stay connected to the sense of energy flowing inside tingling warmth coldness magnetism those are all energy sensations so Stay with that feeling and let's do set number four. Ready? Start. The key here is relaxing your whole body. Even your hips, shoulders, chest, neck, head, knees, ankles, feet, thighs. Everything should be relaxed. If you feel too much pain, smile and breathe. Okay, stop, relax your body, take a deep breath in, expanding your abdomen. Exhale out as you do imagine heavy energy being pushed out of your body through your pores.
All right, number five, one minute. Ready? Start. Notice how with each set, your body feels a little bit different. Maybe the energy sensation feels a little bit deeper, wider. Maybe your hip joints feel a little looser. Or maybe you have some more pain in your knees. Whatever it is, become aware of what your body is feeling each and every set and notice how it progresses. And as you do each set, don't forget to breathe. Ha. Ha. Stop. Feel your body. Feel the tingling. By this time, you can feel strong tingling sensations in your legs. As the tingling sensations get stronger, notice your brain, your mind getting quieter, maybe even sleepy. All of the energy that was centered in your head is now slowly starting to move down to your feet to balance the energy flow inside. Breathe. Breathe and relax. Okay, now one more minute. Set number six, start. Focus on the feeling of the toes tapping together, legs shaking. You don't need to think about anything, just feel your body. Whatever it is that you feel, just feel. You're doing great. If you want to make your movements a little wider, please feel free to do so. Whatever feels good, whatever feels opening for you. Okay, stop, relax. The tingling sensation in your body goes deeper from your skin now into your muscles like a electric sensation flowing throughout your whole body. Energy is being activated and as it does, it starts to quiet your mind, relax your body, take a deep breath in. Exhale out any heavy energy you feel. So tapping again, this is set number seven, starts. Just feel. No need to think, just feel. You will definitely start to feel your mind getting quieter. Less thoughts, more feeling.
will start to feel a deep sense of relaxation coming over your body. Just enjoy. Keep feeling and breathing. As you breathe out, imagine heavy energy, toxic energy, stagnant energy being pushed out of your body through your exhale. Great job. Now number eight, start. You can feel your body's relaxed. Try to relax other parts of your body that are still a little tight. Maybe you feel a little tightness in your chest or shoulders. Consciously try to drop, relax your chest. Relax those areas, those few remaining areas that are still a little tight. Stop. Feel your body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. So all of your heaviness, toxins are leaving your body through your exhale. You can deeply feel relaxation coming over your body as more and more energy moves from your head down to your feet. Great job. Now number nine, start. Doing great, keep going. Focus on the stimulation, the feeling, the vibration, the warmth, the coldness. These are all energy sensations. You can feel your body relaxing even more, your mind becoming even quieter, maybe to the point where you feel sleepy. Tension is being released from your body. Deep breath. Exhale. Ha. Now, last one. Start. Notice all the changes that you felt through each and every set. Can you feel your body and mind becoming quieter after each set? Can you feel your body relaxing more with each set? Stop. Completely relax your body. 
all the way from your head to your shoulders, neck, chest, arms, abdomen, hips, thighs, knees, calves, all the way to your feet and toes. Take a deep breath in through your whole body as if your body is like a sponge absorbing water. Breathe in. Exhale out, squeeze from your pores like a sponge, squeezing out heavy energy, dark energy, stagnant energy out of your body. Great job. Feel your body here now. Can you feel your mind is very quiet? Can you feel that the tingling sensation, electric sensation in your body is very strong in your legs, feet, hands? And if you're very sensitive to energy, it might feel like your body is stuck to the floor. You did a great job. Now slowly turn your body to the left side and sit up, please. How do you feel? Can you feel that by doing this, all this activity that was in your mind became quiet, more centered, like there's a balance of energy in your body now? Yeah. So if you have racing thoughts, if you can't sleep at night, it's because all the energy that should be in your core to balance you out on a scale, it floated up to your head because we think a lot. We get stimulated a lot by our brains. So that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being stimulated in the mind. Just we need to find some ways to balance out the stimulation inside. So we do toe tapping to balance the weight, the weight distribution of energy. Too much in the head, not enough in the feet. Then what do you do? Cause stimulation here. So the scales tip like this yeah and actually in energy practice the more energy that's in your lower half of the body the more grounded centered and peaceful you will feel i suggest repeating this exercise every day before you go to sleep especially if you're somebody who has trouble sleeping at night and especially if you know that you're in your head a lot you did a great job to experience a full one hour brain education based class please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.